afternoon and welcome to e-magazine where we make business a bit more exciting. Now, before we get into today's topic of discussion, a lot has happened this week. And that's why I want to take a look at that right now. Now, we start off from the Karaga Festival that happened this weekend and took place at Mamba Village where the French Nigerian singer Asa as being the headline act. Also, Coke Studio Africa has started new productions. It announced last year, Feb, its plans on bringing on new artists from all over Africa. Artists such as 25 musicians and producers will be featured. They include Wasafi music producer Lisa, Twin One hit maker Nai Boy, Winky D from some Zimbabwe, pardon me, and returning to the show are Continental Stars, hip hop star Calligraph Jones and BET award winner Ray Valley. Now also gospel singer Masi Masika has launched a book club christened with the creative name of Masi Masika Book Club. The, the, new, the music gospel singer pardon me, posted about this new journey saying that books are wealth and treasure. Moving on to something a little bit more sensitive that has also made it to our entertainment news later on, American American rapper Nipsey Hussle was shot dead on Sunday right in front of his Los Angeles shop. Artists such as Drake, Rihanna, J. Cole took it to social media to pay tributes to the rapper. Now, today's topic of discussion is on the film industry. It's an industry that has driven millennials crazy. Now, the Kenyan film industry is booming very well right now. And joining me in studios today is Jack Mutinda, who is a well-known actor in this industry. And today will help me understand what it takes to have a career as an actor in the Kenyan film industry. Welcome to studios, Jack Mutinda. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm very excited. <laughs> yes. So tell me, what's, what's been your experience in the film industry in Kenya? Well, I can say that it has been a ride of a lifetime. Yeah. I mean, like I'm living my dream. You know, most guys say whatever I wanted to be when I was young is not it. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to be on TV. Really? I always be either a news anchor or an actor. Here I am. And you're yeah. happy, are you happy with being an actor, right? I'm very happy. Are you sure you don't want to take my job? Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I could take it on a You don't have yeah? any more plans of taking... <laughs> I get you. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm really excited to have you in the studio today because yeah, the, the Kenyan film industry has been yeah. something that has been booming so well in Kenya right now yeah, sure. with a lot of movies that have come out such as Rafiki yeah. which was so amazing so it's something that's picking up well enough in Kenya specifically yeah. not just South Africa so yeah. that's something I wanted to talk about with you today sure. so what what are some of the business challenges you can face in the Kenyan acting industry okay first of all I think uh, if you're an actor mm -hmm. you must have a pair of steel Yes. Still ones, yeah. Because, <laughs> okay, I won't say, before you cut an inch, man, you have to go through a lot. Because I remember when I cleared college in 2013, mm -hmm. so I decided to venture into acting. You I did it. auditions for the whole of 2014. The first role I got was in December 2015. Wow. That was a whole two years of auditions. So you really have to be patient like, about this. You have to be persistent, you know. No, actually, it's no, it won't, if someone else tries it, it won't be like my story. Because uh -huh. there are some guys who go for the audition for the first time, they get lead roles, like, and that's it. There are some guys who it takes, like, for many years. Let's take, for example, uh, this, this, this guy from abroad. Which guy? Morgan. Morgan <laughs> okay. Freeman. Yeah, he landed his fa first major role and he was yeah. edge of a grandpa. True but story. see where he is right now. True he story. is raking in millions. So it's all about timing and all about the persistence. But one thing, you have to be persistent in this and have a very, very tough heart because mm -hmm. you'll find guys who break your heart there. You might go for an audition and someone asks you, uh, have you ever tried business? No, please go do that. <laughs> like points blank wow. in your face. So how many auditions have you tried? Did you try actually? How many auditions did you try when you were in campus before you even came into acting as a full-time career? Uh, I can't actually remember. There are many. There are many. There are many. Because if I give you a scenario, let's say in a week I can go to three or four auditions. How many auditions are those in a month? Now turn that way. Yeah. Wow. Now exactly. Now that's like someone who's dropping a CV in a different office. Uh -huh. Every every. So every, you have every to be passionate times. about it. Yeah, you have to be passionate, man. You have to be very, very passionate. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. So, um, did you go to like acting school or something of the sort before you, you got in professionally into it, or is it something you you were good at? No, you know, for starters, you have to be passionate. It's something you have to love. Mm -hmm. If you don't love it, you won't do it. So right now, sure. okay, I will say the the college I went to it was the Kenya Institute of Mass Communication. Mm -hmm. It was one very big stepping stone into 
into me doing acting because actually most of the big names who are on TV and radio, both behind and be in front and behind the scenes, they all pass there. Wow, so like okay. when you're there, you feel like, ah, this guy is past there, so I'm in the right place. Mm -hmm. At least it builds that confidence and that passion and that drive and at least tells you you can do it. From where you are, you can, you can achieve your goal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell me about the roles you played in the different TV shows that you've been on so far. Okay, the, the one which guys know me mostly uh, is uh, Daktari. Daktari, yes, that's <laughs> the one I was waiting for. <laughs> yeah, it's Daktari. Daktari. It was in Real Houses of Kamwari. Uh -huh. that, was a, that was a very tough role to play. So when people see on the streets, do they call you Daktari? How yeah. are you? Now, you know, in relation to my character, people actually fear Daktari. Because <laughs> Daktari was a no-nonsense guy. He never smiled and mm -hmm, he was mm -hmm. like, you couldn't predict him. Uh, yeah, you're well, the opposite well, of Daktari, I have to exactly. say. Exactly, now you see. It, it, was a t it was a tough role to get into those shows, yeah. baby. But now when you get those reactions, you know, ah, yeah, I nailed that. 100%, makes yeah. sense. So I've been, what else? Uh, I've yeah. been to Tahidi Hai. Tahidi, yeah, I watched Tahidi Hai. I've been to Tamwala. I've been to another show which was called Visanga. I've been to Suwan Joni. Oh, there are many. There are so many. <laughs> yeah, oh, wow. Many, yeah. And how, how were you able to get these roles? Is, it, is there like a networking space in the acting industry that allows you to get these auditions? Because one thing I've noticed in Kenya, when it comes to, you know, film, when it comes to fashion, it's hard to get this information where the fashion show is happening, where auditions are happening. So yeah. how were you able to get that information? Okay, now when you go to the auditions, mm -hmm. you don't actually just go to get the auditions go make contacts, go make connections with other guys who are mm. there. Because that's where you meet all the guys you see on TV. You know, sometimes yeah. you go to auditions and you meet a guy like, I, yeah. you know, audition. <laughs> like, this is what we do. Because now a nigga maybe saw me yesterday night. Yeah. Now he's like, you're here looking for, for, for a job and yes. uh, you are working. It's a cycle. That's what we do. Okay. Yeah. So now when, you know, when, guys meet, when you meet such guys, make contacts with them. At least they will put you into groups and places maybe where there are auditions. Mm -hmm. Auditions happen, you know? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Sure. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, another thing I want to talk to you about is, so what are your future plans as an actor? Are you planning to get into in international, in international space, such as Lupita Nyong'o? And there are many Kenyan actors out there. Is that like the end goal for a lot of actors in Kenya? Actually, I say it's long overdue. I should be in the, on the international space already. Long overdue. <laughs> <laughs> they're missing out on this Yeah, uh, yeah, this yeah they're so missing out on all this, you know? <laughs> yeah, but my dream is, my dream is, I want to wanna be an early star, you know? Because mm -hmm. I believe I have the talent mm -hmm. and I have the passion and the drive and everything that it takes. And you know, that's the reason we spend like six or seven days a mm -hmm. week in the gym. Hello. But what's wrong with the local market for film? There's nothing wrong. You see, now when you, when you do that, now you open up the local market. Okay. You see, now let's say you see, for example, Lupita. Lupita used to be a very big fan of Real Houses of Kamwari. Yes. And you remember sure that day is. when she tweeted about Real Houses? Yes. Even guys from abroad came to see what we do what in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Now you see that now that's a stepping stone. It's not like you're going out there because it's not here. You know, this is where you started. Charity mm -hmm. begins at home. So if you go there, you go, you go open up that market, at least get those guys to know there's a place called Kenya. Because there's a, there's, a, there's a series called My, My, My Wives, which, has, which was produced by Benji. Mm -hmm. He's a guy who has been in Hollywood for, uh, for a couple of years now. What I remember mostly is he had a role in Tears of the Sun, okay. from, uh, that movie by Bruce Willis. Now, his, 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 his niche there in Hollywood yeah. actually made it possible for him to come back to Kenya and do a very good series, which is yet to be released, you see? Now, I believe Lupita Nyong'o, Eddie Gathegi, and all the likes will do the same. Mm -hmm. And when I get there, who knows, I'll bring well, the Well, I'm here. hoping I'll be able to witness this because I'll be one of your big oh, you number better be. one fans. You better be. <laughs> yes, indefinitely. <laughs> yeah. So, I also, one thing I wanted to know is, when it comes to your acting career, what kind of investments do you put into that to build yourself as a brand and not just an actor? Yeah. Yeah, could you highlight that for me? Right now, for that... Uh Right now, I'm not focusing on acting only. Acting only. I've ventured into script writing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because yeah. actually, there's, there's a show in Masha Magic called uh, Hula Balu Estate. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a script writer. It, it's done by the, by the veteran comedians from Kenya who are in Vyaja Makamani. And do you have to go to like, a certain school for this? or No. <laughs> it's all about the passion. Now, okay. the, the guys who do that is an art. Yeah. Actually, my mentor is Abel Mutua. 
Wow. Big, big shout out to you, Abel and Philo. Thanks a lot again for mentoring <laughs> me. I have to mention them. No, it's okay. Yeah, you know, so when I told them I have the passion to write, can you write? I was like, yeah. I wrote the first thing there. I was like, there's potential. Okay. Now, let's build this potential now. So like I'm hoping step, to, step. I'm going to get some films and some new TV shows yeah, written definitely. by you. You will, you will. Yes. That's the reason why sometimes we off the screens for a long time. Okay. You never know what we're planning behind the scenes. That's great. Yeah. I'm curious to know how you um, decide on your rate card, like in terms of how much you are. So if you're auditioning for a certain um, a TV show or even a film, do you decide how much you're worth or you go with the prices you're given for that TV show? Okay, I'll say this point blank. <laughs> There's an audition which I look and uh, I see the kind of cash they're giving and whatever product you, okay, whatever you're doing, mm -hmm. I won't do it. Okay. It's not like I'm proud or anything. I think there's a time where I was worth that. Yeah. So right definitely. now, if I do that, there's someone else who needs that opportunity to, mm -hmm. to get there. Yeah. Like, okay, I'll give a perfect example. Back in college. I like examples. Yeah. Back in college, I was doing, I did a feature film in our school. Mm -hmm. I was acting with some guys who are in TV shows. They were big names back then, and they're still big names right now. Those guys, I was, I was the supporting actor to the main actor. Mm -hmm. You know, these guys were getting like 40 or 50 Gs. I got 7,000. Wow. Yeah. That's not fair. <laughs> no, you wouldn't say it wasn't fair, because actually, that's what they were worth. They were worth 50. Now, right now, you call me for a movie, I'm giving me 7,000, I'll be like, uh, I have someone I can give you. For the 7,000, just someone, not to I have me. Someone. I have someone we can build. Okay. You see, like, you know, you, you always start from the, from the, from the, mm -hmm. from the bottom, you know. Mm -hmm. You just rise gradually. But have you ever yeah. been in such situations where a, a person will approach you like, I'd really like to be an actor for this situation and give you a certain amount of money and you're just like, do you really think I'm worth this? No, you know, when they, you, you, you ask them, okay, you want me to do a role? Okay, what will it entail? This and that and that and that. Okay, how much? They give mm -hmm. you your rates. Well, okay. Can you make it... This, no, you know, no, okay, you guys go discuss if mm -hmm. you can do it, fine, if you can't, you guys get another guy. No bad blood. Okay. Yeah. That's Great. simple. <laughs> yeah, it's that exactly. simple. I thought it was a complicated process. No, it's not complicated. It's all about knowing what, you, what, you, what you're worth. It's knowing your worth and no, okay. no compromising on that. So if you are given a certain amount of money and you know you're worth way more, you just let it go and wait for nah, another opportunity let it to go come. And Okay, yeah. so what kind of advice would you give individuals who want to get into the acting career, especially in Kenya? Oh, the guys who want, first of all, be prepared. You know, there's so, actually, I get so many guys who ask me, how can I get into acting? How can mm -hmm. I be an actor? Because I'm actually thinking about it. My first question will be, okay, <laughs> let me know. Let, let me say you really <laughs> love examples. Yeah, okay, why do you want to be an actor? Can you believe, would you believe I told you that back in the day, but this is high school times, uh -huh. I, was, I was part of the drama team. What happened? I don't know. It's just um, being told to act a certain role on the spot is very difficult. So I think this is better. <laughs> but you're still, doing the, you're still doing something which is related to that. Yes, so you know about 100%. Yeah. But so if someone like me decides I want to venture into that industry, mm -hmm. what are, what's your advice to me? Why do you want to be an actor? I think it's, um, it makes a lot of money. <laughs> uh -huh. I else? just want to be like Lupita Nyong'o. I want to be uh -huh. in Hollywood. Are you ready to pay the price? I am sure it's a lot of, it takes a lot of effort and sweat to get into that industry because you won't just get the, exactly. the, the auditions just like you that. You know some guys roles. actually want to be on TV because they just want to be seen. 100%. Because some of them, them they'll be like, I look at them and I'm like, uh -huh. so okay, how do you want us to go about this? Uh, you know, I'm working so maybe in a corner from food, I took a job for 30, maybe to six. I take that as an insult. It's true. Because this is my day job. Now, you're treating it as a hobby. Please, dude, if that's what you want to do, go play basketball. Or go <laughs> play football. Or just go do something. This is not a recreational activity. Mm -hmm, this mm -hmm. is a job. Because sometimes, actually, you wake up at 4. You're supposed to be on set by 6. Yes. You get dropped again home at around 12 or 1. Mm -hmm. You barely sleep. Let's say that routine goes for like 2 weeks or 3 weeks or even a month. Wow. Now, someone wants to do, wants to do it for, for, for 2 hours or 3 hours a day. Amazing. You know, there's so much, there's so much that we give into this for uh, for you to see us on on the screens. But some guys think it's very easy. So, what would you tell that person? If you're passionate and willing to pay the price, it's okay. I'll help you. We'll work together. If I'm going for auditions, I'll tag you along. If I see anything like I, if you, I see you have a strength in 
if it is not necessarily acting, you might be a good storyteller. You might be a good script writer. You might be a good... Like, there's so many, so many, so many, mm -hmm. so many entities in, in being on TV in the entertainment industry. So mm -hmm. if I notice your strength is not what you want to do, I'll tell you, focus on that. You can write a story. You're a very good storyteller. You are a comedian. For me, I'm a comedian, mm -hmm. but I can't tell a joke. I'll tell you a joke, it'll be like, ah. but now if I give it to someone else, it'll be like, guy. <laughs> but now I tell you I'm the one who's written that. Because actually in View Sasa, all the, all the, these, 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 uh, the Kamba, 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 Kamba drama skits, what, what, what. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All those skits from, from season one to season six, I wrote them with, with another friend of mine. Wow. We are the guys behind that comedy. That's amazing. But now tell me to do that comedy. You won't even watch two episodes. Because I can't deliver that. It's a different situation. Yeah, exactly. I can't deliver. I can write, but I can't deliver. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. Well, I'm loving the conversation we're having, but we'll just take a short commercial break and we'll come back. I will give you more information on the Kenyan film industry. Welcome back to E Magazine. Now, before we take a short commercial break, I was discussing with Jack Mutinde about the Kenyan film industry and how exactly it has evolved, allowing an acting job to be something that is very profitable. Welcome again, Jack. Thanks. Now, I want to now get into more deep detail about the Kenyan industry and how it's performing right now. But before I do that, how is your day each and every day when you wake up? I'm curious to know how an actor's day starts from, from the beginning till the end. Or oh, I'm on set or on, I'm not on set? Um, when you're on set. Okay, I'm, I'm on set. Uh, definitely you have a call time. Maybe you'll be told to meet in town at around 6 or 7. So you'll have to be, yeah, a.m. So the previous night you'll have the scripts for the shoot. So Do you usually you have, have to cram all your lines before the day of... Yeah, you have to, but sometimes you get used to it, so you, you, sometimes you even get the script the day you're going to shoot, so you wow. be like in the car, like, ah, 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 okay. Like, you're used to it. I believe that's a talent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a talent. Okay, when I'm not on set, mm -hmm. Jack is an MC. Mm -hmm. Jack is also a karaoke host. Okay. And okay. he's a father. Mm -hmm. He's a father to one very really? really handsome son. If you think that's, I'm handsome, you should see that boy. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> all, the, all the ladies yeah. out there have had that part. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and actually, I feel philanthropic. I have an event this coming Saturday. Okay. I feel like I should give out some tickets. It's a pool party I'll be hosting. You're inviting me? I want to invite you and I want to give some tickets to all the guys who are watching out Okay, there. you can give some tickets. Yeah, actually, you just talk to me after my show, then I'll decide if I give my viewers tickets oh, or come not. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, just go follow Patch <laughs> Events on Instagram. I have one question. Just tell me who will be the headline artist of the night. Okay. I have three tickets. You had it. And you have yours. Okay, make yeah. sure. I'm making sure he gives me my ticket after this. Otherwise, <laughs> you will not get those tickets. Okay, 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 <laughs> deal. Yeah, so apart from, you know, you have your daddy duties. Yeah. Um, what do you do every morning or every night before a shoot? Do you prep? Do you pray? Do you exercise? Do you, you know? Exercise actually for me is a, it's a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. If I don't exercise, I think I get sick. Mm -hmm. So do you have like a kind of routine like? Workout routine? That counts. Yeah, I work out like six days a week. Wow. So do you believe that this routine you have built for yourself kind of helps you with how you execute, you know, your business ventures, your career? Yeah, yeah, sure. Because uh -huh. actually now when you exercise, you know, you relieve your body of many things. Mm -hmm. Like if you're stressed up or like anytime I feel stressed, I feel like I'm out of sorts. Mm -hmm. I work out. Yeah. If I don't work out, I ride. I'm wow. a passionate biker by the way. Wow. So I do ride, riding. Wow, yeah. 
That's a great. If I don't do that, I cook. So did you ride your bike to to our no, studios today? No. Oh. I see how I'm dressed. I, I, should take a selfie outside. <laughs> <laughs> I should be here in a helmet on those big jackets. Okay. Yeah, but I just jumped here. So yeah. I know you're an actor full time, mm -hmm. but as besides from being an actor, are there any other business ventures you've gotten into? What I just mentioned, like, okay, Which I'm one? a scriptwriter. Yes. Yeah. Apart from scriptwriting, is there something Apart else? Apart from scriptwriting. I'm an MC. I get paid MC? to host gigs. Okay. I get paid so to So this is the pool party okay. now? Yeah. Okay. It's now the pool party I'm being paid to be. You an have MC. so many jobs. Not really. You have you have you have you have to to, to, to cut away, man. You have to try. You don't just hundred percent. Hundred percent. Exactly. That's great. Yeah, sure. Now let's get more into talking about the Kenyan film industry. Right mm -hmm. now, your opinion, how is it performing? Right now I will say we're doing well. Mm-hmm. Why is that? Because first, at least now, you know, acting back then was perceived as a joke. You tell someone you're an actor, okay, what do you do for a living? Like, I just told you I'm an actor. Mm -hmm. Like, they don't believe that can be a job. But right now, people are appreciating it. The perceptions are changing. Yeah, the perceptions are changing. Actors are being given, like, other roles, like you, brand ambassadors and all mm -hmm. everything because mm -hmm. of the... The, 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 the command they have with the public and the following they have. I'll come back to that point after after we are done with this. Okay. So, and also, mm, judging by the the, the, the the many number of TV shows, mm -hmm. commercials, movies, which are online, which are doing good here and yes. abroad, mm -hmm. I can see we're doing, we're doing great. Because right now, actors, I believe now, it's our own challenge. The actors, producers, directors, like all the all the all the all the, all the stakeholders in the industry, mm -hmm. we have decided to take this like now. Take it personally. Don't wait for someone else to come and tell you this. Uh -huh. Like, do it. Go out there, do it, do something. That's great. Cause we all start from somewhere. We won't just we won't we won't become Hollywood in a day. No, we, yeah. won't, we won't reach those heights. But we get we're going there. <laughs> yeah, we're going there. So we're do you think there, apps yeah. like Viewsasa really encourage this? Because it, it kind of pushes us to subscribe and watch our own local content. Yeah, exactly. And also, Visasa makes you realize, I didn't know I could write comedy. <laughs> but with Visasa now, I know I can write comedy. That's I amazing. Yeah, so it's, it's growth in all entities. And also, as an actor, don't just be an actor. If you want to set all the, all the other value, do you add the set? Mm -hmm. Maybe you can be an um, AD, a first AD. Maybe you can do directing. Okay. You can do lighting. You can do camera. So do you think acting sound. has really, um, it has helped you to see the different should I say job descriptions that come in that kind e of area exactly. and it allows you to explore different skills that you may have not known you had. Yeah, sure. Because yeah. actually now, you know, back then when I sat down and watched a movie, mm -hmm. I just watched for the thrill. But right now, if you watch a movie with me, you'd get mad. You would think about... Like, ah, your, your shot, man, I go. Boom, your sound. Like now you see all... Actually, all, I can, all can never watch a movie with you. <laughs> Let me just tell you right now. <laughs> oh, but sometimes you'll be like, okay, um, see, atenda, atenda kufanya hivi. Two minutes later, he does this, and I'm like, have you watched this movie? No. I just, I just read the story, mm -hmm. and I imagine now I thought as a scriptwriter, what wow. can you do? What, how, can you, how, can you, how can you take this guy from the, to the other side, or mm -hmm. how can, you, can I play around with your mind? That's Because scriptwriters actually, uh, they play with our minds. So you're clearly learning so much. In yeah, this. exactly. It's all about the passion. If you want, you will learn. If you don't, you just watch the movie for the, for the entertainment and mm -hmm. all. Yeah. Do you think um, our film industry is far from reaching to something like Nollywood or Bollywood? No, we're not far. Mm -hmm. We're not far. Are you sure? Because, okay, as the, as the actors and the, the producers, the directors, all the, the technical crew, we have all the, the capability, we have mm -hmm. everything that it takes. Right now, we can do something with your phone. We mm -hmm. have smartphones mm -hmm. which you can do something very great and it gets out there. You know, Nigeria, they started, they started like something which was a joke. Yeah, they we, started we, as like We really a joke. used to despise them. <laughs> but now the worst part, we despise them, but we watch them. Yes. Now they are a multi-billion industry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As we still say, you guys are talking about Siju, Chawi, Siju, Nini, mm -hmm. Nini, Nini. Mm -hmm. We'll say that, but to Kirudi home, you got to Sayote. Mm -hmm. You see? They okay. capitalized on that. At least they used what they know. Like, they, they took their culture yeah, and it's very put authentic. It, put very it in authentic. TV. Yeah. Do you think we're doing authentic. the same in the Kenyan industry right now? Yeah. We're or doing being this authentic thing. with our culture, with what's basically happening in our cultures in our country. Are we putting that in our films? Yes, we are, in as much as we're trying to cut an itch into the international market, you know. Mm -hmm. If you have to to if you want to, to broaden your wings, you have to think those guys, okay, what do they what's their market like? What do they like? Like 
if I put this product, will it sell? If yeah. I do this, will it will it will it make sense to them? Mm -hmm. At least, uh, in as much as we infuse our culture, you also think about them because we want it to cut to make a mark locally and internationally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. I know before you mentioned um, who your mentor was, mm -hmm. but I want to know. I want you to give me two, two, three names of film actors in the international space who you look up to. Of course, the first one must be the one and the only Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Oh, th that's <laughs> a nice pick. I wasn't expecting that one. I feel like everyone says Denzel Washington. That's always th the Denzel fast. is another one. Denzel <laughs> is another one. Because that, okay. that guy really, really... He's one of the best. Mm -hmm. I would say he's one of the best. Then there's this guy who did a... There's a series called Deception. Deception. Yeah. The lead character, I can't remember his real, real name, but they, are, they were twins. I can't really get the name. By the way, mm -hmm. this guy mm -hmm. played with that character of a magician. It was magic. It was magic. It was magic in itself. Now, why doing Johnson? Why him? Why, why do you see him as someone you want to look up to? And One thing, I love wrestling. Second. That makes sense. <laughs> Why Second, not into wrestling movies I, then? I, I, I love working out. Mm -hmm. So now you see we have a lot in common in that. Mm -hmm. And again, Dwayne took, took a chance. He was given an opportunity. And he ran away with it. Mm -hmm. Like 10, 10, 15 years ago, Dwayne was only a wrestler. Mm -hmm. He only knew the rocket in the wrestling. Right now, he's calling the shots in Hollywood. Why? He was given an opportunity. And he didn't venture into it just as an actor. Yes, right now, if he's acting, his company, Seven Bucks, is the one which is producing that. Yeah. He's the one who's contracting talent. Like He's basically he, all around. He, he's basically running the show. Yes. He's not just an actor. Now that's what I was saying, mm -hmm. value addition. Now you see the value he added into his mm -hmm. brand now has made him the most sought after actor. So value community. addition is an important It's very, actor. very, very, very essential. Yes. Yeah. Now, on the point of value addition, we talked about, you mentioned actually stuff to do with brand, being a brand ambassador when you're an actor for different companies. Is that yeah. something you've done yourself? Yeah, it's all about packaging yourself. For example, which brands have you worked with? Okay, let's say, you know, when, when sometimes when you go for auditions for commercials, mm -hmm. those guys check your background. Okay. They see like, you know, there's some, okay, there's some brands which can uh, associate with what you, you as a person do. Like, mm -hmm. if you go to my social media, like, you go to the social media of the guy you want to work with. Okay. You know, you pick a lot from that. You will see you, his audience, his posts, like, his day-to-day -day life. You get to read the guy in, in detail. Okay. Then you'll be like, okay, how does him, his perception, his ideologies in life relate to the products we're doing and the marketability? Like, how do they relate? Okay. Like, let's say, if I get this guy... Uh, a brand like I want to do a commercial about cars. Mm -hmm. Here's the guy who'll be the main guy. Like it's a commercial. It's a huge, huge commercial. Like he'll do TV, prints, roadshows, and everything. How will this guy relate to their masses? Okay. His personality. How how suited is it to 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 it? So your whole profile matters. It's, exactly. It's, it's all about they your look whole at profile. Your profile and yeah. See if it goes with it, their brand. Yeah. That's how it works. Because most of the times, if you if you if you're going to get a job which you entails with you like getting into contact with the masses, those guys do a background check. That's why you told, you told, be always be cautious what you post on social media. <laughs> if you want to be an influencer or if you want to do something which uh -huh. is connected to that, because mm -hmm. it will come back to you. Okay. Right now, if guys, let's say Yamaha or Honda or what wanted to do, uh, Nini, wanted to do a commercial in Kenya and they wanted an actor, mm -hmm. why would I not put up my profile there? Yes. I'm a writer. I do that. I am a MC in all the events which we do the road racing. Most so I, I have a, I have an issue with the market uh, with the with the guys who are enthusiasts who are motorbike enthusiasts and the superbikes. It, it makes a lot of sense. Now that one will make more sense to maybe someone who's always posting of maybe his out taking CG what 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 alcohol CG one now would happy. That brand won't work with you. No. It won't. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's an important uh, factor for yeah. people wanting to get yeah. into this acting industry. It's all uh, it's all not just about there. on TV. It's about now. Sometimes your your own personal life yes. dictates that. Yeah. Yes. And now the fact that we mentioned social media, that's something I want to talk about with you. Mm -hmm. Like, what are your thoughts on uh, social media right now? Because it has created a platform for actors to even just showcase yeah. their little skippets without sure. having to go for auditions. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? 
actually most of the guys who tell me okay you know Jack I'm a comedian as I do him as I do you know have you ever done anything and put it out there I ask you know you no do this sir you can do a short skit of 30 seconds to a minute mm-hmm. you can do a joke do that Because actually most of the guys who who get roles on TV shows and all maybe the guys who get called you've done something you put it on social media because right now I can you said you work with examples right yes there's examples a, are the there, best there's a very good friend of mine who's a lady we we script right in Hulabalu yes that lady I told Abel there's a there's a chick who's very good by the way na anaza anaza fiti market yenye tuna do story easy like story za Hulabalu na kuandika na fit sana uza medu nini income tag in social media you know abel had to just check her page and like three what, what or four has. posts and she was like yeah she can do it you see now if with that so it's, it's a marketing platform it's a marketing platform actually because now maybe if 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 i don't have something to showcase if i had someone else and they don't have something like they can they can see he has done this apart from word of mouth yeah you know this lady or again stands a very huge chance of getting that role compared to this other guy because mm-hmm. okay if you want to do something do it on social media yes. take for example njugosh is njugosh on tv yes 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 and everyone's followed why is he on tv so much because he's using his following on social media 100%. instagram facebook youtube alianza tuizo video zake tu hizo tu crack the guys up crack the guys up brands he is right now a brand mm-hmm. say you go share the audition and up you see me on a client when you hey come we need to do something mm-hmm. so now we discuss the terms and conditions what do you want this is like that's it now he calls the shots okay yeah because of what he did he pushed himself to the limits and he's ripping okay exactly so i'm loving the conversation we're having so I'm far i'm going to have to wrap it up very soon but before i do okay. i want to i just want to understand how you feel so far actually i want to understand what plans you have for yourself am i going to ex- are we going to expect more films more tv shows there are a couple of them do you mind sharing or it's going to be a little secret to find out uh, later on okay go to my social page actually so i share some snippets there okay there are a couple of videos of some things which are coming mm-hmm. some others are under the wraps i've no we've not yet done them but mm-hmm. there are a couple of them okay yeah which well, I'm very, 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 very happy and looking forward to seeing them. Oh, some of, some of them are part of your script writing or? Some of them are part of my script writing. Some of them are, okay, most of the ideas, sometimes I chip in. Uh-huh. And some of them I'm the lead. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to end this conversation with a quick question. Okay. I just want to know, who is the most paid um, Hollywood actress? Actor. Actress and actor. Actor? Actor right now is doing. Is the rock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actress. Wow. No answer. Who oh, oh, that's a tricky one. So clearly you just follow the actors. I feel like no, there's, don't follow, okay, I, you know, there's some okay, gender you know, imbalance. You know, you know, you know, they, you know they, 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 they juggle a lot. Okay. For, for the ladies. It, it's not Scarlett Johnson. It's not Lupita. No. Mind helping me on this? Perhaps Kerry Washington. Oh, okay, scandal. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Well, it was amazing yeah. having you in studio. It was my Jack pleasure. Mutinda. That Thanks was Jack Mutinda. You had a frame. You need to understand that it's not just about acting in this industry. You need to have value addition as well and be passionate about your acting career. Well, let's take a short commercial break. And when we come back, we'll take a look at the trending movies.
brilliant know about business terms is something I love doing. You had a word debit. This one I know you know. Debit I said soon that Debit at left. We are keen on actively playing our role in positioning Kenya as an investment hub for East and Middle Africa. Welcome back to E-Magazine. Now it's time for the real talk where we take a look at what movies are trending and you should be watching right now. Let's take a look at the trailers. God, seems like a thousand years ago. I fought my way out of that cave. Became Iron Man. Realized I loved you. I know I said no more surprises, but I was really hoping to pull off one last one. The world has changed. None of us can go back. All we can do is our best. And sometimes the best that we can do is to start over. All these people die. I keep telling everybody they should move on. Some do, but not us. Even if there's a small chance, we owe this to everyone who's not in this room to try. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Celebration for the big day, huh? I make your partner, baby. <clears throat> Time to break that glass ceiling. We all know who deserves this. Give it up for our Summit Worldwide Sports Management's newest partner. Whoa! <laughs> uh, Allie, that pass was actually to Eddie. Woo! All right. <laughs> yeah! I'm so sick of this boys' club. Every day is my day. You don't connect well with men. Just stay in your lane. I don't trust women who don't get dudes. Like, I don't trust a man with no eyebrows and too many keys. I know someone you should talk to. I can help you connect with men. Why don't we have some tea? This smells like dirt. Oh, that's just jasmine tea. If you don't count the weed and the peyote and the crack. Hello, welcome back. Miss Davis? Thank God this one didn't die on me. 
Starting today, no more drinking at work. Hey, that's too much information. I didn't say anything. I feel weird after last night. Yeah, that's what happens when tequila meets desperation. Okay, stop saying things you shouldn't be saying to your boss. Holy crap, can you hear my inner thoughts? I can't hear your inner thoughts. Oh my God, I can only hear men's thoughts. That cloud you're walking through, that's my farts. There was a psychic. She gave me this tea. And you drank it? She said to. I thought black people stopped drinking tea after get out. Why weren't you complaining about men trying to keep you down? Do we have any meetings on the books? Nothing yet. Except the private poker game tonight. This is not a curse. This is a gift. You better think. Take a power to I should tap that ass. Oh. Little lady, what you doing at the big boys' table, huh? Two grand. I'm bluffing these fools. I'm missing Real Housewives. Shaq finally has a winning hand. Why am I thinking in the third person? I smell toast. Am I having a stroke? Wait, I have toast in my pocket. Whew. Well, those were the trending movies of this week. What Men Want is the most trending movie. Make sure you take a look at it. So sorry about the technical issue about the sound. But I'm sure once you go to the cinema, it will be so much better. But now let's move on to the entertainment news. Rapper Nipsey Hussle killed in an LA shooting. American rapper Nipsey, Nipsey Hussle was shot and killed outside his clothing store in South Los Angeles on Sunday. The shooting happened around 3.20 p.m. outside the Marathon Clothing Company, a clothing store owned by the rapper. Nipsey was one of the three people shot and was pronounced dead at the hospital at age 33, NBC News reported. His death has sent shockwaves through the U.S. entertainment world, with celebrities posting memories of the musician on social media. Netflix hires Kenyan in top role. American video streaming service Netflix has hired a producer of a popular Kenyan TV series to commission more African content. Dorothy Getumba will join Netflix in June with the title of Manager International Ori Original for the Europe, Middle East and Africa. She will be based in the Dutch city of Amsterdam. Ketumba is the CEO of Spa Works Media, a Kenyan production company that is behind a range of TV formats. Her shows have been aired on Kenyan TV stations as well as on continental channels like Africa Magic. Well guys, that is it for today's episode of E! Magazine. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you tomorrow, same time.